What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Guys, we usually look at moon photos, but this time we're going to look at a moon video. It's very suspicious to me, and I think you guys are going to agree once you see what I'm about to point out. Now, this mission happens to be the Apollo 16. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You can see it right here, uh, the Apollo 16. It goes into the, basically the astronauts. This is the patch that they had. And you can see it right here, it says, on April 16, 1972, NASA launched the Apollo 16 moon landing mission, which sent three astronauts to the moon's Descartes region. Uh, see photos from the historic flight in our gallery here. First, a memento. A plaque exactly like this was left on the moon by the Apollo 16 crewman, astronauts John W. Young, Commander Thomas K. Mattingly II, Command Module Pilot, and Charles M. Duke Jr., Lunar Module Pilot. All right, now the part I want to get into is over here. And you can see they're basically having a conversation back and forth. And what they're talking about is basically, I'm going to get the rake. We're going to, you know, rake up some samples, maybe some rocks, so on and so forth. So, but what I find interesting is the actual video. And you can get it right here. It says video clip. Now, all I can do is give you the page up here. You can see the top. I'll give you the address to it. And you can see a little scroll bar right here on the right-hand side. It just comes down just a little bit. And you can see right here it says 1, 2, 3, and then it says 28, and then 48, right? And you can see right here the video clip right there. It's 2 minutes and 55 seconds. We want the 26 MB, the MPEG version, right? Now it is extremely lousy. But is it lousy just because of the camera or something else? Let's get into that. I'm going to let you guys watch this video, and then I'm going to get back to you on this. Yeah, we're doing 12 o'clock. Yep. Yeah, I got the rake. Let's see, that's all I need. Clock. Yeah, I got the rake. Let's see, that's all I need. I can see the big eye is alive. Okay, okay let's go. Right, so, here we go. Okay, we're going up to where it's uh, more cobbly, uh, Tony, to get the rake sample. It's pretty smooth right here. Okay, the rake sample should be uh, one uh, crater diameter away from Plum. And it doesn't have to be uh, oh, right. Doesn't have to be too cobbly there. Okay. Okay. Well, that's, a, that's about it then, John. Yeah, but I don't. I don't think any of the rocks from here may have come from Plum, but they may be some other place too. Well, let's do what they want us to do. All right. Right. The intent was about, to get uh, other things than Plum right, right there. Right out there in my shadow. Yeah, I got the rake. Let's see, that's all I need. I can see the big eye is alive. Okay. okay, let's go. Uh, so, here we go. Okay, we're going up to where it's uh, more cobbly, uh, Tony, to get the rake sample. Okay. Pretty smooth right here. All right, let me stop it right there. If you guys haven't noticed this, let me just play this a little bit more. We can see that this is a very piss poor quality video. We get that, right? But I want you to notice something. If you haven't seen this, check this out. Look, just above the mountains here, you can see what looks like a straight line going across. What they did was two things. One, they took, the, uh, they took each frame of the video and they doctored it up. They literally censored it. They muddied it over, did whatever they had to do. The second one, if you haven't seen it yet, is actually a grid pattern. And what it is, is actually what looks like compression artifacts. You can see them right here in the middle of the screen. Okay. You can see them all over this. And they stop right here. You can see the line. Notice how you don't see it up here. Now, as it goes along, this is what you're going to see. Pay close attention to this. This pattern above it will not move. However, the video will move behind it. So you want to pay attention to these little squares you're going to see right here on the, on the screen. You can look in the dark area sometimes and see it easier, and sometimes in the light areas you can see it. So I'm going to roll this a little bit and watch what happens. you got to pay attention. It's almost like looking at a TV screen, but yet there's something going like this behind it. These squares, these compression artifacts, do not move. So what's that tell you? It's an overlaid filter. If it was just a simple, bad quality video, you'd see that thing moving everywhere in every which way, right? Watch this. Once you see it, just keep your eye on one of them right here. It does not move. It's an overlay on the top of this. And I want to point out also is that the top of this hill, you're going to see this. You're going to see right here, it starts as the hills get higher. So doesn't this pattern that they put over this. Watch this. It 
it's almost like once you see this, this, it's almost like I said, just picture a screen over the video you're watching. You can't unsee it once you see them. They do not move. Now, the only thing that's really weird is that because it's dark spots, light spots, you can see them moving, but yet if you keep an eye on a cluster of these squares, they do not move. That's not normal. At the very top here as well, just above here, right here, you can see the line right here. You can actually see coming off the right of this hill as well. It's like a purplish right here, going straight here, a nice straight line, and then it goes back up again. Again, I believe they've taken each of these frames and they muddied it over, they scented it, they did whatever they had to do, and then they put on this grid pattern to get rid of any kind of detail that may be easily seen. All right, let's keep going. See this? You can see, just look at the mountains, and as I'm going, I'm going to back it up just a hair bit. Pay attention just to this cluster. We can do it right here, or this cluster right here. Just keep your eyes on that area and watch the squares. They do not move. Now, the colors behind them will change, but they do not move. Now, anybody who's a simple amateur uh, photographer or professional, give me your thoughts below about this. Look at this. Watch. I'm literally seeing the, the overlay staying still, and I can see the video passing behind it. And to me, it seems like they left some areas where it doesn't have any compression artifacts so that you'll see, like, darker areas. And Again, let's go back just to here, right here. Look at this line right here on the hill. It's from here down. It's got these compression artifacts. The very tip does not. But they put a line there. Let's keep going. Okay. Now, let me go back to this area here. This is where I find to bring out what they're trying to hide. And believe me, it's not an easy task. But watch this. You're going to start to see this straight line, almost like a wall. Coming up right now. Right here on the top of the screen, right here. It seems like an edge of a wall. And then watch this. It appears like there's something almost like an arch right here on the left-hand side on the top. And looks like it has a, a piece running this way and a piece running off to the right. You guys see that? It almost looks like a, like a dark archway type thing. But here's what's crazier too. What are these white lines that are being covered up? You see these one, two. There's one going like this here. And there's something in the background that one of these things goes right into. What are we looking at here, guys? I'm seeing what looks like lines, almost like some kind of cables of some sort. Now, two things come to my mind. One, is it their equipment going to the stuff that's laying on the ground, or is it something that's on the ground and they just try to cover it up as the best they could? I don't know. But you can see this line right here in the back. It's literally straight going down. And you can see what looks like some dark features in there. There's one here, one that's darkest right here, and you've got right here. So again, as it's approaching this side, you can see these cables on the ground. You can see this straight piece going like this here. And then all of a sudden you see this archway right over here. With these lines going, one going up to the left and one going up to the right. And notice how we got all of this whiteness like blocked out of there, right? You can, I can see the compression artifacts right here at the top. Literally. Now, I'm going to just bring it back just a little bit manually. Now, keep an eye on these little compression artifacts they're not they're not moving guys they're changing colors because of the actual movie or the video behind it but they're not moving and you would expect it to if it was a low res photo and it would do that it's not doing that i can look dead right here in the middle of the screen pay attention to these squares watch what happens i'm going to move this thing the video itself back and forth this overlay is not moving it's to block out the quality of the video now, let's take a look at this in Photoshop. Now, I took basically a, you know, snapshot of that particular part of the video. Now, I can see this area right here. It looks like that archway. It literally looks like it's doing this. Looks like something very faint going up, one going this way, and one going out this way, and there's something right here. I'm not sure what to make of that. This line over here, like I said earlier, looks almost perfectly straight. And you can see there's small, darker areas. This one's a little more faint. So let's get into this. Back up just a little bit. You can see something laying right here. These cables, like I said, right here. 
right here. Let's keep going with it. Now I'm trying to get the color so it don't distract the eyes, right? All right, this is the best thing I could pull out of it, and it's complete crap to be truthful with you. But you can see something right here in the back. Of course, it's not going to be completely straight, but again, we've got what looks like these openings. This has really been screwed with. I can see this right here. But whatever it is, it's a flat surface on top here. And then again, I can see that other area here. With that, with that archway. Now, again, you guys see this right here. You can start to see right in this area something coming straight out, like something white. And you can see something, another piece right here. White, white. All of a sudden, boom, goes like this. You can see it just faintly into there. Something's right here. I'm not sure what to, to believe. I don't know if it's our stuff or it's their stuff. But look at carefully. There's something that appears to be doing this. Something sticking up right here. Small detail, like round detail. Again, very piss poor photo or video to begin with. So doing the screen grab, it's not going to be the best. But regardless, there's shapes in here and there's other crazy stuff. Now let's check this out in cyan plate. Because I try to bring out this the best I could. And you can see something again, something doing this. These pieces are doing this. These white cables, whatever they are. So I think they went back over these and messed with them. What do you guys think? Look at them. I can see them pretty darn good now. Right here. None of that changes. It stays the same. It literally does not move. It just stays perfect on the screen while the video is moving behind it. I'll show you one more last piece of that, and we're going to wrap it up here. Look at any part of the screen. Those do not move at all. They do not move. The video behind it, yes. Everything else, completely still. That's pretty goofy as far as I'm concerned, guys. And to me, again, it's just another way to block out what's really in this video. And they did a fantastic job of doing it because you can't make heads or tails out of it. Except for some things that have shapes that maybe shouldn't be there. Like again, up here, we're starting to approach this area. And all of these cables laying on the ground. See that? Why are these being blocked out? You can see it's like muddied over and been censored out. What do you think? Again, I'm looking at this overlay. And I'm not even paying attention to the video playing behind it. And I can see that none of that's just moving at all. Even a low-res video should not show that. See it? You guys can give me a take on that. What I see is an, a, a deliberate filtering put over that video. And I believe that video, frame by frame, has been manipulated and censored to begin with. Then they put this, what looks like, this compression artifacts filter over the top. And it does not move except for the video. You can see it moving underneath. Drop your thoughts in comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Is it their equipment that we're seeing that's kind of muddied over that they try to block it out a lot? Or is it something that's laying on the surface? What do you guys think? I don't think we're going to be able to determine it one way or the other. However, why would they do that if it's just their own equipment? Is it their equipment hooked up to something over there that should not be there and they're just inspecting it and testing it? Or is it something that was laying on the surface to begin with and they're trying to muddy it out? You guys let me know. Anyway, guys, please like and share. Always appreciate it. You guys know that. And don't forget to look for my next Mars video coming up. That's also coming up as well. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.